now kids your art teacher sai mahak is again back with another exciting activity which is how to make pattern okay but before you go and learn to make pattern what you are going to do you are going to revise elements of arts as we are going to use elements of arts in today's drawing what are those let's have a recap elements of arts are lines shapes forms color space texture and value as you can see in this poster that these are seven elements of arts and essential to create a beautiful drawing okay so let's have a recap about some lines and i'm sure kids when you are going to write down that how many types of lines you know you are going to write more than mine okay i have ex given some few examples over here some lines of horizontal diagonal vertical wavy curvy spiral there are many more types of lines you must be aware about and shapes shapes are always two dimensional flat surface we cannot see anything in depth in shapes okay these are always two dimensionals it can be regular or irregular organic or inorganic we'll go into detail in next art lesson forms whenever we are able to see anything in depth that is going to be called as forms like here we can see the few examples of forms and i'm sure you are going to write down and draw many more forms than these colors colors are the most important part of our life here i have classified colors into two basic groups primary and secondary okay the primary colors are as you know red yellow blue and secondary colors are orange green and purple when we mix any two primary colors we are able to get to see that we are getting one secondary color okay and you have to experiment that which two colors are going to make one secondary colors then comes the space everything around us have some space even we do need some space to move our, into this world okay our house is occupying some space in this area wherever we are living and this area is occupying some space in the city the our city is occupying some space in our country the drawings also require some space so the area around any object is going to be its space like you can see here i have drawn a beautiful scenery very like childish so that you can better understand so the area around this house and the tree is going to be called its space and it can be any other object as well it can be a drawing of a flower it can be a design it can be some calligraphy it can be anything now the sixth element of art is texture texture like everything has its own surface and that surface is going to be called their texture so texture is the most important thing in our life we cannot neglect it and the last but not the least value in every drawing every painting we are able to see some lights and dark shades some lighter and darker tones so those tones are going to be called as value and value creates the beautiful effects in our painting in our drawing so we cannot neglect it it is very important elements of art now let's learn the pattern design and how we can use these seven elements of arts in our pattern designing let's start the lesson yay i'm so excited okay kids before we start the lesson and learn how you can create patterns using elements of arts we'll go and learn and have the recap of its very easy definition and how we can define it so what is pattern in art a 
pattern is a design in which lines shapes forms and colors are repeated what are we going to do we are going to repeat them to create patterns the part that is being repeated is called a motif okay so if we are going to repeat some patterns we are going to call it as a motif patterns can be regular and it can be irregular so let's just start the lesson so kids for doing the pattern designing what are the resources you need you need to have some markers it could be permanent markers like i'm going to use permanent markers and the company i'm using is marker permanent okay you can use any company it can be permanent markers or it can be sketch pens like these okay these are chameleon brush pens so you can use any sketch pens which is available nearest your stationery shop or with you at home now we'll start making the drawing for making pattern what are we going to do first of all we are going to trace our hand and we'll start making the drawing from the elbow and then we are going to trace it out it is very easy and you all can try this step with me and as this is the video the best thing is that anytime you can pause you can play you can pause you can play and afterwards what i'm going to do i'm going to divide my hand drawing into different parts so that we can start making the design inside this hand and when we are going to create the partitions or when we are going to divide this hand drawing into different parts we are just going to keep that we have to use this space wisely and we are not going to like otherwise what will happen the drawing or the design or the patterns are going to be like hodgepodge and we will not be able to see any breathing space so whenever we are doing any designing what we need to keep in our mind that it should be having some breathing space now we'll start making the drawing with red color red is my favorite color guys so what we will do we will start making the pattern with some basic shapes or basic lines what i'm doing i'm just creating the vertical lines and but i'm making it little wavy so it's totally up to you that you can make any lines any type of lines it can be wavy zigzag or any other line instead of this line or it can be any shape as well and afterwards i'm going to use second primary color which is yellow and with yellow i'm going to draw some circles it can be in different size also and it can be in same size also I hope you all are liking this lesson and I hope you all are going to try it. The third primary color is primary blue. Okay, there are many types of shades of blue like this. This is darker blue, royal blue we can call it and this is primary blue so remember whenever we talk about to fill the primary blue color we are going to only use this color and this part i am filling with some zigzag lines you can fill any other shape as well instead of these wavy lines After using primary colors, I am going to use secondary colors and then I will be making some triangles. It can also be in same size or it can be in different size. It's totally up to you that how you want your patterns to be composed or 
created. After the green color, I am going to use orange color so that it can like be more fresh when you are going to observe your drawing afterwards. And we can create patterns with some lines as well. So this is all our own creativity that how we are making our designs. Now the third secondary color is purple color and what I am going to do, I am going to make some spiral lines. And as we have used all secondary and primary colors, now we can go for the other tones like this light green or parrot green is one again one of my most favorite color. So what we can do, we can use it to create the patterns in this shape or what you can do. If you only want to go with primary and secondary colors, then you can re-revise, okay, you can use and repeat the same color into different parts as well but when you are repeating the color what you need to do you need to select the parts which is like if I am going to use in this area green color then I will definitely not be using the green color over here otherwise what is going to look like that my composition in the end is not going to be too eye catchy it is not going to be like a more attractive it will look like the same so we need to create we need to be more creative as much as we can be creative our drawings are going to look like more beautiful and everyone is going to appreciate our work now what are we going to do we can create some wavy lines here and then we can make a grid inside the hand pattern design is ready girls and boys and my dear students and children it's ready and i'm sure you all are going to enjoy it and try it and in next art lesson in next video i'll bring another technique to make patterns in the same hand drawing and i'm sure you all are going to share with me and you all are going to upload your work in the designated area so and those who wants to try after watching this video at this art channel so you can find my email id in the description below in the email and you can share your work with me i will be waiting for your work as always see you next time take care enjoy